most people will end up failing when attempting to build momentum. It's not easy. If you rely on willpower alone, you won't get very far. The thing I love most is the culture. Company culture, because of the culture and the team we've built. I just really enjoy the environment. The people we've got. Was there ever a moment in the first four years that you wanted to just throw in the towel? Totally. Absolutely. I'm driving down the street, Mopac, not even that far from here. I remember that vividly. I call my wife, what am I doing here? What, what am I supposed to do for the rest of my life? Year one, we had no momentum. Let's make it a big dream. Let's go for it. Nothing can stop us. The first four years were, hey, let's keep these lights on so we can make them even brighter in years to come. So we were on my in-laws property who were so gracious enough to let us borrow this 800 square foot building almost eight years ago when we got started. So year one, two, three, four, th those are the grind years. That is no fun. It's let's make this dream a reality. Let's put everything we have into it. Let's take the $50,000 we have in our bank. That's it. Let's put it into this and let's make it happen. And that was, that was the head down grind. It's gonna suck. Seen, it's gonna feel like we're not gonna make it. Inside look at what small business looks like. <laughs> it was a, a big time in my life of sacrifice to where I had lots of friends calling me, especially during hunting season. Taking calls, no man, I can't, I gotta work this week. In the early days, there is nobody else. If I didn't work, I didn't eat, my family didn't make any money. If I didn't go to a show, there was nobody at the show. Buying blank t-shirts from Comfort Colors, we're sewing in our own tags, we're driving them to the screen printer. Uh, the same truck I drive now, I was picking those up, bringing them back, folding them, and then waiting for orders. My family asked all the time, are you still making those t-shirts even in the later years? So um, that's the toughest part in year one is even though people don't care, or you're gonna get a lot of no's, people really don't even wanna stop and talk to you, it's okay, you have to know that's just part of the game. Year four, this is the year that we start hiring better people, we start building the team. Almost everybody in the company, if not everybody in the company, um, has started off pulling orders, hourly rate, and has moved their way up. I really started in the warehouse. I was pulling orders and for retail. And I started in the warehouse and production pulling orders. I was living with Drew Buck. Shout out Drew Buck. Lived on the lived on the couch for six months. I started in the warehouse, mostly on the retail side. I really, when I very first started, I was gonna just work part-time, did production, just filling orders. I started at Burleyville about two years ago in the warehouse. Tons of room for growth just because we're still, you know, a small family-owned brand. We had been around like five years by the time I had gotten here, but the, the growth, even from when I started, is so tangible and visible, you can see it. For everybody in this room, that I appreciate everyone taking ownership because I think that's one of the most important things in a small business is people taking ownership of what they're doing and doing a good job. Years five through eight, I would say we feel unstoppable. We've scratched through the mud, we've clawed to get where we are now that I know that we can make it through anything. We can make amazing products, we can compete with huge companies. We can stand our ground against big brands. We truly can do anything. We've got the best team and I'm more confident in them than ever. I'm confident in myself as a leader and I'm gonna take this brand in a, in a great direction and help guide the young people in our company because we have so many amazing people on our team. Evolution from where we started. Um, Every year the brand has grown, product has been added, um, and it's been really awesome to see the growth of the brand and the maturity of the brand, um, and then the extension of it uh, with introducing colors and patterns and new styles and new silhouettes, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so it's really, it's really grown, and this is honestly just the beginning. Year eight, we are blessed, we are grateful, we have some serious momentum. 
Uh, multiple big box stores are telling us that our products, in short specifically, are outselling major industry leaders. There's so many growth opportunities and it is growing and happening every single day. And it's just cool seeing the growth firsthand, like it's rewarding. We want to be a household name like Nike, Adidas. Uh, that's that's the goal. Again, we want to we want to be able to clothe and apparel the whole family, a sports team. Uh, we're working with some colleges this year, which is super exciting. We're working with a couple high schools uh, in year eight, which is super exciting. Uh, so it's tough to say where we're headed. I just know we're headed in the right direction. We're headed up. That you know, nothing can stop us. I just feel like the the products, the materials, everything is just leveling up. The products, the designs, the patterns just take a little bit of a step up every season. Night and day, the product transformation since when I started. There are so many more styles within each category of products we have now. When I first started, we had maybe 10 caps now we've got over 40 caps i love seeing like the new collections coming out every year too i think that's one of my favorite parts too is just always seeing something new being built like whether it's a new pattern or a new product in general company culture is one of those things that is is everything it really is if you don't have a good team you don't have a business as a lot of the guys say in the office like we some dogs and it's some true and it's because we have people in the company that want to work super hard, want to get after it, love what we do, love the products, and that just breeds an insanely awesome work environment because every single person on our team matters. Burley Boat has the potential to go as, as big as we want it to go. Um, I truly think in terms of efficiency, um, hard work, all of those things, that's here in the company. And as long as we keep that up, we keep our culture up, um, you know, we keep that positive energy, we stay authentic and organic with our customers, um, the sky's the limit. Uh, so, I mean, I think, you know, I think we can end up being one of the biggest outdoor apparel brands out there. If we stay on this track and, and keep going the way we're going, you know, I know we all expect to be one of the biggest outdoor apparel brands going. Uh, I, when I think about our work environment, it's like family, it's probably what I'm most proud of as a business owner. Because yes, I'm so happy that people love our products. And yes, I'm so happy that people will stop me and say, dude, I love the brand. But the fact that we're building something that people want to be part of and want to work at, um, I mean, it, it makes me emotional thinking about it because there's nothing more important than people and community and, and building something with other people. Was the ad adversity worth it for me and my family? Yes. Was the adversity worth it for everybody on our team now? Yes. Because everybody who's been on our team and everybody who will be on our team deserves everything coming towards them because they've helped us get where we are.